Tom Ridge, according to um, uh, the, uh, I guess it was a press release from his uh, book, um, his book publisher. He's got a, a book that's coming out, The Test of Our Times, America Under Siege. I don't know how we can be said. Who, who knows what it is? It's basically, the subtitle of this book should probably be, Another Moderate Republican Tries to Justify Why He Did Nothing While George Bush Ran This Country Into the Ground and Essentially uh, Dismantled the Integrity of Our Government. Uh, he will, in this book, apparently... He will talk on how he was never invited to sit on National Security Council meetings. This is the Homeland Security Chief. Never allowed to sit in and on National Security Council meetings. He was blindsided by the FBI in uh, morning Oval Office meetings because the agency withheld critical information for, from him. He found his urgings to bro- block Michael Brown... Brownie, from being named head of the emergency agency blamed for Hurricane Katrina disaster, ignored. And this is the, the top one. Uh, he was pushed to raise the security alert on the eve of President Bush's re-election, something he saw as politically motivated and worth resigning over. Of course, he didn't resign until after the election. So now, like uh, Colin Powell before him, he comes out, he writes a book, or he starts to leak stuff in the press, Boy, boy, was I disgusted by what I saw. And it's time for me now to rebuild my reputation by uh, pretending that I was so disgusted by what I saw, but um, I did nothing at all about that. Now, the real story about this to me is how this revelation was responded to by Mark Ambinder, who is a writer for the Atlantic Monthly, a political writer. This is a classic example of how the the Washington establishment, the 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 media establishment in this country, uh, perceive the rest of us. Now he writes that uh, the news today uh, of uh, Tom Ridge about uh, raising the security alerts for political reasons very disturbing. I think we need to wait and see. Uh, you know, what the book says and what other people says before we make a huge judgment. But then he goes on to say, journalists, including my, myself, were very skeptical when anti-Bush liberals insisted that what Ridge now says is true was true. Now, now what he's responding to is, you may remember there was tons of graphs that were put together. There was one guy, I can't, I, the life of me, I can't remember... I want to say Skippy, but I, I, it was some, uh, somebody on the blogs who had put together a, um, a graph of every time there was an alert and compared it to Bush's approval ratings. And every time Bush's approval ratings dipped below a certain level, there was a security alert. So he goes on to write, Our skepticism about the activist conclusions was warranted because these folks based their assumption on gut hatred for President Bush and not on any evaluation of the raw intelligence. So what he's saying here is that I completely discounted all of the data that indicated that they're using these security alerts for political reasons because basically the people who were saying it were dirty effing hippies. And I was able to glean their motivations as to why they were making these charges, so much so that I could completely disregard the charges. And he's actually writing this at a time to justify why he didn't do his job at that time. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, boy, did I blow it. He says, I'm sorry, I blew it, but I had every reason to, because it was these liberals who were suggesting it in the first place. And even though they were accurate and correct in their conclusions, It made it impossible for me to actually look into this as a reporter because they were concluding this.